Hi, I am Sabrina Lowry with Legacy Realty and Management, and I just exposed my business on BizLinks TV Network. Learn more about the latest trends in real estate and business technology coming up on my episode of That's My Biz on BizLinks.TV. So talk a little bit about what that took to then start Legacy. Absolutely. It was faith. Okay. It was nothing but a faith walk. No one told me in broker training, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. because you have to wait three years after being a licensed sales agent okay. before obtaining your broker's license. Okay. So then what happens, you can be a broker which is titled associate broker mm -hmm. under another brokerage firm. Oh, okay. Meaning okay. I work for Pamela Anderson, okay. Pamela Alexander, mm -hmm. excuse me, mm -hmm. brokerage. Mm -hmm. And I have a broker's license. Okay. So I come in as an associate broker. Okay. But now explain the different, yep. what a, a broker actually is. Yes. So the broker license in Georgia mm -hmm. is basically the highest level of training mm -hmm. and certification and licensure okay. in real estate. Okay. Meaning... You can manage property. You can own your own firm. Okay. You can hire, recruit, train agents. Okay. You can have agents on your team, or you can be a solo broker, okay. like myself. Okay. Right now, do the brokers do the handle the the financial side as well? Absolutely. Okay. Every okay. single thing okay. that has to do with the business. Okay. I have ten jobs. Them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So I wear the role of CEO. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then I also wear the hat as managing broker okay. when I built my team. Mm -hmm. I have agents that report to me, sell for me, manage for me. Okay. Then there's the hat of I am the bookkeeper mm -hmm. of the finances. Okay. And not mm -hmm. only of my business, but of my investors' businesses. Okay which now make me a okay. portfolio management specialist wow. because I'm managing books and records such that an owner at the end of the year, all they do is call me for a 1099. Somebody Here's my rental income. <laughs> Here are my financials on rent in versus expenses out and hand this document to my CPA. Okay, now, so... Because cause I understand the, the going into being the investor and then because we found ourselves to be landlords at one point um, mm -hmm. with a property that we had and decided to, to rent out. Yep. Um, like you said, instead of dealing with all the other issues, well, let's go ahead and rent it out just yep. for a time and then see where it goes. Yep. Um, but what I'm hearing, and this is what I think a lot of people probably miss when it comes to bringing on a property manager. Um, you know, I'm thinking all they're doing is, you know, making sure that the they pay monthly and that if there are issues with the property that that gets taken care of and of course checking it out from time to time for us to make sure that the uh, renters are taking care of the property mm -hmm. but you're giving me a whole additional side to it that I think we missed out on yes in having in the saying someone that's keeping the books and all that I was doing all that so that wasn't what I had to do so I will tell you I am a professional house sitter 